Welcome on in, dragon folk. It's me, Ashen Wings, here with another box opening video for you guys. Uh, and seriously, guys, here's the deal, right? This is my this is my play mat. It's the coolest play mat I own. I don't own any other play mats, so um, I'm sorry. I <laughs> this is gonna be your background for a long time. Uh, if you want to donate to any of that, uh, feel free to just message me through Discord or through Twitter or whatever. Um, if you wish to donate some old mats, but this is our mat for right now. Maybe we'll invest in some more later. Um, today, we're doing another box opening, but it's not Magic the Gathering. That's right. Today, we have this. Ghosts from the Past, the Second Haunting. So this box right here contains... Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, Yu-Gi-Oh has been another set that I've really enjoyed. And I have always liked the art. I've liked how the game plays, so on and so forth. Um, this here is not one of the... I mean, it's a set with cards in it that you can um, you can play, right, in the TCG. Uh, but, for the most part, it is uh, really... I think the set's mainly for collectors. But that's just me, I think. Let's go ahead and go ahead and get a nice little thumbnail going on here, folks, huh? Right? Bam. What do you think? Ghost in the past two? I think it looks great. Alright, so essentially what this is is each of these individual boxes, normally a box of uh of Yu-Gi-Oh for a set comes with a lot of packs, but one of these, you might even see these in stores sometimes. Uh, an entire one of these is only like, I think, $15, $20? I can't remember what they're selling them for MSRP. But the whole point of this is, is that in these sets, there are multiple cards that have a ghost rare version of them. And so let me open up these boxes and reveal their card, their, their packs, and we'll get started from there. All right, we're back. So not that I'm encouraging it for the record, but if you do ever see one of these in your big box stores or something, and it does not have this Konami wrap around it, right? Or if it's like been kind of ripped off a little bit, if it's not sealed, do not buy it. All right, that's just a pro tip from me to you because I kid you not, inside this box were just four loose packs of cards in each of these packs, in each of these, right? So it comes with four packs. Each box comes with four packs, and they're just like in here, right? There's no nothing holding them in, nothing keeping them, you know, rigid. It's all it's just loose packs in a box, um, which is kind of uh, I don't know how to say um cheap but i mean it gets the job done so what this is is that there are uh cards in this set that are a lot of them are reprints uh in regards to their actual cards um but i think actually just about most of it are reprints i don't know what is or isn't but we'll kind of go over it and check with that so we've got vampire kingdom advanced ritual art decode talker heat soul the Agent of Wisdom Mercury, and a Track Black. So each pack comes with five cards. And really the only cards we're looking for are going to be Ghost Rares. Uh, Ghost Rares look pretty much exactly like this. They're like a bright white inside of a regular border of their card. And they are... I'm not going to say they're expensive, but... They're definitely one of a kind when it comes to a printing of a card, and I quite enjoy them. So I always, um, you know, I plan to collect them. Uh, and as I've said, Yu-Gi-Oh! is, ooh, Alibur, the Jester of Despia. I think this is actually one of the reprinted cards uh, that goes for a lot. This card, I guess, in its secret rare version, used to go for uh $120 or something, and now it's been bumped down to, like, 15 
So that's pretty good. We'll leave that in the cool pile. Um, that's good. Sanctum and then Fists of the Unrivaled Tenyi. So kind of a once over, right? Um, I know a lot of you guys probably are seeing the magic stuff and you're going, well, what's this Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, I don't know if you know, but I actually have played Yu-Gi-Oh for like practically 12 years of my life. Um, and I love the game, but I stopped playing it roughly about the, um, roughly about the time when, uh, Pendulum Summoning became a thing. I think that was somewhere around 2013, I think. Uh, I stopped playing and I was like, well, you know what? Like, better to just, uh, have the stuff. I, you know, I wasn't going to throw it away. Master Flare Hyperion is, I guess, a card that people want from here. Jorman Gonder, bam, Chimeratech, Mega Fleet, Dragon. Um, all of the cards in this set are in Ultra Rare, um, which is just that gold lettering with the hollow, um, with the hollow, uh, what do you call it? Um, the hollow middle. But uh, I know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh! in regards to... Did you see that? You know, I think that was just the... My, my hands. Um, so I know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh! in regards to like, oh, I wanted to see this. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. Very cool card. I love the Crystal Beast archetype. Um, if I were to get back in, I'd like to do something more like um, nostalgic as far as decks go. Um, but I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, I think if I would do anything, I'd probably just end up playing um, Master Duel online. Master Duel is the Magic the Gathering arena of Yu-Gi-Oh. So pretty cool stuff there. Ghost Trick of Dullahan. Um But I wanted to open the set because I like collecting the ghost trick or the not the ghost tricks. I like content collecting the ghost rares. And um I think the set's really cool. I passed up the first Ghosts from the Past set, and I feel kind of bad about it because like i really do like the cards and i like um i like the gameplay of a lot of it even though a lot of it is pretty freaking confusing and pretty much most of the game is like if you're not winning on turn one you're not really winning so <laughs> that's kind of its own uh its own special thing but i've uh i've enjoyed this game for a long time and am, I'm mainly focusing a lot of my collections on Magic the Gathering right now, but I do like Yu-Gi-Oh! And I've continued to like Yu-Gi-Oh! And the, the game has always done well for me. Most of my sales on... Uh, most of my sales on TCG Player are um, Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Just because they're, it's, it's hot stuff, you know? The... the a lot of the chase cards are, you know, when they add chase cards, they add chase cards. Um, cards hold value because they're not, like, re... I mean, some of the cards are reprinted into different rarities, but they're never usually, like, reprinted heavy or, like, really easily obtained. And so because of that, a lot of them do hold their value. Um, and then all it takes is for a new set to come out and that set to be good with a certain card. Um, even Even if it's a card from, like, a set way back right like a common that you would never have expected to cost to cost any money um they just end up costing they just end up being worth something so it's definitely nice to to see that there's a lot of value in Yu-Gi-Oh um depending on where you're looking but course in the sky so a lot of value in Yu-Gi-Oh, I personally say, but it's hit or miss, you know, um, with this set specifically, I do see a lot of people are, um, they're getting the cards are, they're getting the stuff. And like some of, some of these, uh, things will hold like, you know, three ghost rares or, you know, two ghost rares or something of the sort. And then some of them will contain zero. And so apparently the chances of getting ghost rares out of the set are pretty rare. But 
this is a supplementary set, much like a core set from uh, from uh, Magic the Gathering. So there's a lot of cards in here that got reprints, like this one, for instance. Um, a lot of cards that got reprints and a lot of stuff, so that way they're more accessible for, um, you know, players. So, Reptilian Spawn. I know some new stuff, I think, got also got printed in here. This actually looks really cool. Great Mammoth of Goldfine. Hmm. A lot of cards that I haven't seen in a long, long time. So, Zombie World, that's pretty cool to see. Pendulum Arena. Okay. Okay. But, like I said, I haven't played, I think, since 2013, I want to say. Somewhere along those lines. So, it's been a while. But, I love cracking Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, one, I mean, a box is like $40 cheaper than... Uh, a, but yeah, a box is like forty dollars cheaper than, uh, than a, a Magic the Gathering draft box, and there's no different variety of boxes. You just get a booster box. So it's really cool. They have chase cards and like Starlight rares and so on and so forth. So there's always some kind of chase going on in each new set. Um, it's just great. And the cards are actually worth money in their rarities. Um, and then some of them are just, like, really, really good, right? Like that, uh, like this guy, this Alubear. You know, he's a, a popular card amongst a lot of players right now because he's used in uh, a, a deck that seems to be topping tournaments. So we're down to our last little, uh, little box here. Uh, four more packs to go after this. And we're going to see what we can pull. Doesn't look like we have any of the ghost rares yet. There are, I think, like six of them in this set or something of the sort. And, I mean, I definitely am going to pull one. But... Which one will it be is the real question, right? So these are the pendulum cards. I've passed a couple of these before, but like, look at this. Like, I don't even know how to start reading that. That's like too much text, you know what I mean? On Meraki. Um, so I'm gonna have to look up what other cards in here are actually worth like crazy amounts. Cause I would imagine there's more cards in here that got reprints that are um dying to be seen by other players so go there all right rare fish yeah look at this thing this is like us i don't even know whether or not this has been printed before but this just looks like the way the art is and the way the that it's just got no effect down here really makes me think that this was like a very old card that they reprinted from like one of the older sets in the 90s so, pretty fun stuff here. But yeah, like I said, you know, I like to collect Yu-Gi-Oh! as much as I like to collect um, Magic the Gathering. And uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I'd have to get back into it a little bit, but it won't be too bad. So, DDD Duo Don King Kali Yuga. Gosh, ain't that a mouthful. Holy crap. All right, last pack. Got the Blue-Eyes White Dragon on it. Let's see if we can pull it. Let's see what we've got. We've gotten an Alibur already, so that's good. Some money in our pocket, but will it be worth everything? Dramaturge of Despia, Salomon Great Blaze Dragon, Vision Hero Increase, Zombie World, and Yang Zing Prana. Does not look like we nailed any ghost rares in this box so that is unfortunate but this alibur right here this is the real winner of everything this is the guy that's going to make us a ton of money so i'm going to look through all this stuff and i you know i'll figure out what it all is but anything that is worth anything is probably going to be for sale on my tcg plate page so feel free to check that out and who knows? Maybe we'll do more uh, more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings in the future. I do love Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Um, I love the cards. I love the collecting purposes behind them. I love the game. Um, I love the art. It's just great. So hopefully I'll get more a little bit more into that. We'll dabble into it, but I know Magic the Gathering is probably going to be our big thing. And then we'll kind of move into... We'll do some off days where we do some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and we can kind of check it out. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I do really hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you pulled in your packs, right? Tell me what you pulled. Uh, tell me if you got a ghost rare. Tell me if you got, you know, three alibers or whatever. Um, and then uh, while you're down there, make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel as well if you have not already. I like to make this kind of content for you guys to kind of show that there's uh show the ins and outs of all the different TCGs. Um, but I'm happy to be opening Yu-Gi-Oh! again because it's a lot of fun. So anyway, thank you so much. Please make sure to drink your water, eat your vegetables, and don't be a dick. And I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys. Nerd out.